Hello, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to add a UI animation with the gesture tab. So in this file I have a layer with a background and a layer with a button. And I'll create a new layer, so the UI tab, and I'll create a circle. And I'll make the stroke to be 100% and the fill 0, and I want the stroke width to be 5. So just position the circle to be in the center of the screen and then convert to symbol. So name the symbol, UI tap and make sure the type is graphic. Click OK and then double click on the shape so now you're inside of the symbol. I'm going to create the frames to be on the 50th frame and I'll name the layer UI tap and it's going to be the main element so main and I'll duplicate my layer and I'll name this ripple because I'm going to add a ripple effect once the clicking happens and go to frame number 19 and add a keyframe and then in frame 35 I'm going to add another keyframe and I'll just make it slightly bigger here so then this is where the clicking happens and I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I'll just do a small variation different variation from the first one so move the frame and then just make it slightly smaller and I'll change the stroke width to 2 and on the first uh, circle, I'll just make it 0. And I'll change the opacity to 0. And on the second ripple, I'll also change the opacity to 0. So then there's a fade in happening. So now select between the keyframes and then create shape tween. So now I have a ripple. So select the keyframes and I'll just select the first ripple and then change the easing to ease out cubic and on the second ripple I'll just make it ease out sign. Then if I play, so there's small variation. So add keyframes in the main tab And what I'll do here is just make the circle slightly smaller so then when the tapping happens, it's as if there is pressure on the screen. So just zoom in and then make it smaller in the second keyframe. Right click, create shape twin. Now zoom out if it's window and then if we play, we have the ripple. Just move the keyframes slightly to the start. Now it's better. Go back to the main timeline. So now I'll change the position and add the movement for the UI. So in frame number 18, I'm going to move the symbol to the center of the button. And I'll add create classic tween. In the first frame, I'm just going to make it fade in. So I'm going to make the alpha 0 at the start. And then in the second keyframe, I'll make the alpha 100%. Now for the tweening, I'm just going to add ease out cubic or sign. Sign. Yeah. Now for the button, I'm going to sync it with the same time the clicking happens. So I'm going to add a keyframe. And then in frame 26, I'm going to make this button smaller, so as if the user clicked. And I'll change the color to a darker shade. So I'll copy the first keyframe and then paste it 
So then it goes back to the regular style. Gonna add shape tween and now I'm just gonna adjust it to ease out. What? make it ease in cubic I'm also going to add a fade out for the UI now make the last keyframe alpha 0 and then add classic tween now if I play perfect. 